Uh, my name is Gabrielle Shepard. I own Olympic Cards and Comics. Um, I started working here when I was 15, and I've owned it since I was 18. So our 21 an year anniversary was just a couple weeks ago. Why did you choose a comic and game shop? When I was 15, the woman that used to own the shop asked me if I wanted a job, and I said yes. How long have you been in business? 21 years. What's it like running a comic and game shop? It's a lot of fun. I get to hang out and look at uh, comic books all day, and play games, and hang out with a bunch of really cool kids that come in. So it's a lot of fun. I like it. I like building a community, and so that's what we try and do here. What is your most popular game? I would probably say Settlers of Catan is the most popular game we have. Um, there's also like a bunch of zombie games that are really popular. Uh, Carcassonne is really popular. Dominion's very popular. So well, there's tons of tons and tons of games. What is your most popular comic? I would probably say it's going to be a toss-up between X-Men and Batman. Right now, Guardians of the Galaxy is super popular because of the movie coming out. But overall, X-Men and Batman typically are the two top ones. What recommendations do you have for someone who has never gamed before but is interested in starting? I would say find other people that like to game and sit down and game with them. We have lots of um, we have lots of nights where we teach people how to play games. We have open events where people can come and play. And typically, if you've never find, played a game, finding other people makes it a lot easier to learn, and it's a lot more fun than reading a rule book. What is the Lacey Gaming Community? Oh, it's awesome. We have, every single night of the week, we have people gaming and hanging out and playing. Um, we just built the second story um, upstairs, so that's pretty much full every night with people playing games. Um, people are really awesome and welcoming. They really want other people to play games, so they're a really nice bunch of people. What is the hardest part about running a shop like this? Uh, I hate paperwork, but as far as hard, I would say, honestly, Having a lot of people in here and trying to build a community oftentimes has a lot of, um, there's a lot of interactions with a lot of people and, and like if you come in and someone says something and kind of making sure you guys are getting along and making sure everyone in the community is getting along with each other is probably the most challenging part. Um, I find it very rewarding, but um, it is very challenging sometimes when we have a lot of different personalities and a lot of different people in one area, making sure everybody's getting along and everybody's respecting each other. You recently added up upstairs. What goes on up there? Right now, it's just a game room. It's just a game center, so people can come out, come in, and hang out and play games with their friends. Um, here in the next couple weeks, we'll be adding a cafe, so people can come and eat and drink coffee and drink, you know, soda and things like that, and just kind of hang out. We have a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Um, Tuesdays we have um, miniature games and things. Fridays we have Friday Night Magic, which is a draft. So you basically you. you get three packs of cards and you make your deck out of that. And then Saturdays we rotate what um, what tournaments we have because that's our big day. <coughs> so that tends to be the day that has the biggest tournaments. So we kind of have to rotate them so everybody gets a different turn at having um, more space and more time allocated. How many people participate in these tournaments? Oh, it really depends. We could have as few as eight. We could have as many as, I think the biggest tournament we had was 231. So there's a lot of lot of people in here sometimes. Okay, I think that's everything. Is that everything? Yep. Thank good you job. for joining us. Those are good questions. Thank you very much.